In question number 10 of this first exercise, we have been asked to suggest the names of the line of symmetry of the following set of figures. Let us now see the first figure which is nothing but an isosceles triangle. Now we already know that an isosceles triangle has a pair of sides with equal lengths. So for this figure let us consider that these are the two equal lengths sides and let us draw the line of symmetry which will pass through the vertex formed by the two equal sides. Now if this is the line of symmetry, we will see that this line of symmetry is dividing the triangle into two equal halves such that if the triangle is folded about this line, we will see that both the equal sides will coincide. Also for this triangle, this particular line of symmetry is also dividing the opposite side of the vertex through which it is passing into two equal halves. So we can say that this line of symmetry is acting as a median for this isosceles triangle. So we can say that for an isosceles triangle, the line of symmetry acts as a median. Moving on to the second figure, which is, which is figure B, which is a circle. Now we all know that we have multiple lines of symmetry in case of a circle. Let us consider one of them. Now if this is the line of symmetry, one of the lines of symmetry of the circle and this line is dividing the circle into two equal halves such that if the circle is folded along this line, we will see that both the parts, both the equal halves will coincide. So we can say that this is a line of symmetry and if it is dividing the circle into two equal halves, it should definitely pass through the center of the circle. So let us consider this black point as the center of the circle and if this is the center of the circle and the line of symmetry is passing through it such that it is touching the circle on both the ends, we can say that this line also act as the diameter of the circle. So to summarize, we can say at the end that an isosceles triangle consists of a median which is the line of symmetry and a circle will have the line of symmetry which is a diameter and this is how we will answer question number 10. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.